Hello everyone and welcome to Jam Academy. In this example we have you are standing behind a truck and suddenly the truck starts moving forward. Now what you observe is a pendulum hanging behind the truck sways to the back because of its inertia. So the question is using this scenario can you determine the acceleration of the car? So what do we have? Um, we have a rope, a pendulum of mass M hanging downwards. It makes an angle theta and the whole system is moving forward. So let's draw the free body diagram on the mass. The weight obviously acts vertically downwards. The tension in the string acts along the string and upwards. This angle right here is theta. So we can resolve the the tension in the string into two components. This will be T sine theta and uh, this will be T cosine theta. Now the system is moving forward. So what this means is that the sum of forces along the y direction, this is T cosine theta minus mg, this will be equal to zero and this means that T cosine theta is equal to mg. In other words, T is equal to mg divided by cosine theta. This is the value of the expression for T. Now, on the other hand, the sum of forces along the x direction is equal to ma, which would mean that T sine theta is equal to ma. Um, but what is T? T, T is mg divided by cosine theta and we are multiplying this by sine theta all equal to ma. The m's can gloriously cancel. Sine over cosine is tangent. So this implies that the acceleration of the curve is given by g the tangent of theta. Yes, it's possible for you to measure the acceleration of the car without actually going outside of the car, without really going outside of the car.